Hello everyone, welcome back to my High Celebrities News Channel. The story for today is Britain's Got Talent producers have reportedly banned Dizzy Rascal's songs from being used in future episodes of the talent show The Rapper, 37, was found guilty of attacking his ex-fiancée and mother to his two children Cassandra Jones in March by pressing his head into hers and then pushing her to the floor. One of his tracks was allegedly edited over for Saturday night's installment when the Scooter Boys performed to his 2009 hit Bonkers. Viewers saw the stunt ensemble, made up of 6- to 10-year-olds, while the London Palladium against a playlist of Tiny Tempers Pass Out and LMFAO's party rock anthem. A source told The Sun, during Saturday night's show, the Scooter Boys gave a stunning performance which used Bonkers as the soundtrack to their original audition. But the decision was taken to dub different music over the top and that's a policy which will continue throughout the series. Like other musicians who have been proved guilty of wrongdoing, it would be inappropriate to showcase their work on a family entertainment programme. Representatives for Britain's Got Talent have been contacted for comment, Dizzy was slapped with an electronic tag and a restraining order earlier this month after shoving his ex-fiancé during a row over money and contact with their children. But he avoided a prison sentence for the offence, he was instead given a 12-month restraining order, banning him from contacting his former partner, along with an electronic tag and a 24-week nighttime curfew. The sentence was handed down moments after the musician, who arrived at Croydon Magistrates Court dressed in a green bomber jacket, black jeans, trainers and a red hat, clashed with a TV journalist after being asked if he had any regrets about his actions in June last year. He snapped back at the journalist, asking, what do you mean? He then told the reporter, you don't know what you are talking about before walking into the court. The incident comes after Mills smashed a camera of a press photographer outside the same court in March, shortly after his guilty verdict was handed down. Mills was back in court for sentencing and appeared before a judge who branded him a bully for his actions towards Ms. Jones. Sentencing Mills, who gave no response as his sentence was read out, District Judge Polly Gledhill said, you showed no remorse for this matter. Further, as demonstrated in your report given to the probation officer you continue to place the blame on Ms. Jones, the victim in this case. His victim, Ms. Jones, meanwhile said in a victim impact statement that the incident had rocked me to my core. She described her ex-partner as a ticking time bomb when she gave evidence in court. Common assault carries a maximum sentence of six months behind bars, but the toughest penalty the rapper could reasonably expect is a high-level community order which is what he was given. As part of the 12-month community order, the judge said she was satisfied it was a necessary and proportionate measure to impose a restraining order on Mills, banning him from contacting his former partner. During the trial, Wimbledon Magistrates Court heard how Mills exploded with anger after dropping the daughter off at Ms. Jones' home in Streatham, South London, on June 8, last year. He had been late arriving at the after getting stuck in traffic and told Wimbledon Magistrates Court she was calling and texting him while he was driving, asking whether they would be back by 5 p.m. in time for a chicken dinner. Mills sent her foul replies, which included shut up, don't give me no lip and shut your f asterisk 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 mouth. The court heard he pressed his forehead against hers before pushing her to the ground during the incident. The MOBO winner was frustrated over custody arrangements and the pair had an argument when he dropped off the daughter at the property, the court heard. Mills, who had two children with Ms. Jones before they split up in February 2021, was said to have barged into the home, banged his head on a fridge three times while holding his son and began screaming and shouting at Ms. Jones and her mother Dawn Kirk. The court heard how Ms. Jones began filming him but he took her phone from her and then took Ms. Kirk's phone. The shouting became so loud that it alerted two neighbors and police were called, a judge was told. The court heard how when they arrived, Mills told officers in the aggressor, but later gave a prepared statement in a police interview, denying the allegations and claimed he had been assaulted by Ms. Jones. In her victim impact statement Ms. Jones said the incident had rocked her to her core and she was on anxiety medication for her panic attack. 
The judge noted Mills' charity work and previous good character, but added that an aspect of domestic abuse is the abuser's ability to maintain a public and private face. Judge Gledhill said she believed he could have benefited from help in controlling his anger and addressing his thinking process after the disturbing footage she saw of the attack. He later said, what was the assault? What was the assault? You don't know what you are talking about. When the reporter replies, you pushed your head against hers, he said, is that what happened? Who told you that? Was you there? In court, Sally Bennett Jenkins QC, mitigating on behalf of Mills, told the judge that a pre-sentence report showed that there was a low risk of re-offending. His concern and his only concern was that his children are thriving, he had focused on raising his children and all he wanted was to have a happy family. As you know, this incident was short-lived and by the time police had been called Mr. Mills proceeded outside the address where he was calm and cooperative at all stages, said Ms. Bennett Jenkins. Following the guilty verdict, Mills smashed a photographer's camera outside court after knocking it from their hands and hurling it across the road. Police initially said they were investigating but no charges were brought after the photographer said he did not want to support a criminal investigation, instead opting to pursue a civil claim. Referring to his encounter with a photographer after his conviction, she referred to the musician's reaction to me on being convicted, and the angry behavior you demonstrated after the case was concluded. The Dance With Me hitmaker also argued with another reporter outside court after being quizzed on whether he regretted the assault on his former partner. He said, what do you mean? What happened? When the reporter responded, the incident you are here for, he replied, why are you asking me if I regret what happened if you don't know what happened? The probation officer concluded that Mr. Mills presents as a sensitive, engaged and otherwise law-abiding young man, and we would echo these remarks. The court heard that the musician, who has no previous convictions, had undertaken considerable charity work supporting young people in urban communities. His barrister said that a report from a social worker showed that attentive father who provided warmth, affection and comfort to his children. Ms. Bennett Jenkins urged the judge to impose a fine rather than a community order, adding, there are of course some difficulties with that given Mr. Mills' occupation. He has work difficult to schedule. The judge issued a one-year restraining order preventing him from contacting Ms. Jones save for court proceedings and other official meetings or through his solicitors for child care arrangements. She also ordered Mills to pay £2,190 in costs. Mills released his debut album, Boy in Dark Corner, in 2003. His seventh studio album E3AF, which refers to his East London postcode and African heritage, is due out on October 30. He was made an MBE for services to music in the Queen's Birthday Honours in 2020, and performed at festivals in August including live at Lydiard in Swindon and Boardmasters in Cornwall. That is all for today news, please make sure to leave your comment and subscribe the channel below for more news update.